Hello everyone, welcome to the Late Start Computer Information Competency class, COSA 1 and 601. I'm Professor Almeida coming to you from my home office and I will be your instructor for face-to-face -face COSA 1, face-to-face -face COSA 601, that's the non-credit version, and online COSA 1. And if you're not sure which section you're supposed to be in, check your enrollment status in the Viking portal. So again, welcome aboard to the second half of spring 2024. And in this video, I want to show you what to expect for your first week in COSA 1 and 601 so that you can be ready to go and work with the material. Now, we're going to be using a one-stop shop called Canvas. And I've put together a longer orientation video. You can go watch that and then come on back if you've never used Canvas before. I'm going to try to keep this video short because there is quite a bit to cover and I want to make sure that you have the information you need so that you can be able to settle in and get through the first week. Now, again, we're going to be using a one-stop shop called Canvas and I'll get to it in a moment. But for my face-to-face -face folks, Coastal 1 and 601, when you get to class on Monday, April 8th, the first day of class, you will need your student ID number and your Viking portal password in order to be able to log into the classroom computers. I suggest bringing a mobile device with you. That way, if you need to reset your Viking portal password, you'll be able to do it on your phone. Now, if you don't have a mobile device, or let's say you end up getting locked out of the Viking portal, you will need to contact the Student Technology Help Desk, and I'll give you more information later on in this video. Online folks, all you have to do is log into your Viking portal and then from there, get into Canvas. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and pull up my desktop here and show you how to get to Canvas. All right, you'll see that I am on the Long Beach City College website at lbcc.edu. To get started, click or tap on the Viking portal. And again, face-to-face, -face, folks, you're going to become very familiar with the Viking Portal logon process. Again, you will need your student ID number and your Viking Portal password. Once you get in, you should see a big button for Canvas. And then from there, here is the Canvas dashboard. Now, if you don't have this view, this is what's called card view. You can pull down this three-dot menu otherwise known as the kebab menu and you could choose card view it's a whole lot easier that way scroll on down to find our COSA 1 and 601 classes so this right here this is for my face-to-face -face COSA 1 and 601 and then right here online COSA 1 and again if you don't know which class you're enrolled in check your enrollment status in the Viking portal as a matter of fact this is what the COSA 1 page looks like for both face-to-face -face and online, we start on Monday, April 8th, right after spring break. And again, I am Professor Almeida. Glad to have you all aboard. You can learn more about me by visiting my website at jpalmeida.com. The best way to contact me is through the Canvas inbox. That is this over here to the left. And I do ask that you allow up to 24 to 36 hours for me to get back to you. My response times will be a whole lot sooner during my student office hours. Speaking of my student office hours, this is a chance for you to connect with me about the class and the material. And I'm available Thursdays from 9 a.m. to noon Pacific time in the Canvas live chat. That's this over here to the left. And as a matter of fact, this is what the live chat looks like. You can use this space to talk amongst yourselves, but I will generally hang out in the Canvas live chat during my online office hours on Thursdays. Again, 9 a.m. to noon Pacific time. Now on Fridays, I will be available in person from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And I will be in the COS Computer Lab in M229 at LAC. I figure it's a whole lot easier to meet me in the computer lab than it is to try to get to my office. So again, this is at LAC M229. That is the COS Computer Lab, and I'll tell you more about the COS Computer Labs when we get around to support. 
So let's scroll down here. Welcome to Costa 1 and Costa 601. Here's how to get started. We're going to begin with the syllabus. And again, if you're not sure which class you're in, check your enrollment status. The course syllabus is your guide to this class and what to expect. And it's very important that you read this and refer to it throughout the semester. It more or less gives you the roadmap, what to expect, and what is expected of you. Here are the important dates and deadlines. This will be different depending on whether you're in the face-to-face -face or online COSA 1 class. So again, be sure to check your syllabus. And I'm going to scroll down. And once we get to the last page, here is the schedule, your roadmap of what we will be doing from week to week. So you can see in our first week, we will be working with Microsoft Windows and Office Essential Skills. There are three assignments. I'll tell you more in a moment. And then we have due dates. I want you to take the due dates you see here and plug them into your personal calendar. Okay, Take the due dates and plug them into your personal calendar. And as a matter of fact, that is the second bullet point here. Plug all due dates from the syllabus into your calendar. The third thing you need to do is register with SimNet. You'll see a link off to the left here for McGraw-Hill SimNet. And if you click on this link, register with SimNet, here is an information page on what to do with SimNet. Okay, so make sure you go through how to get started. Again, you're going to click on this link. You will register or log in depending on whether you have used SimNet before. You can purchase access directly in SimNet for about $50 plus tax. Okay, you can purchase directly in SimNet for about $50 plus tax. Now, if you cannot come up with the $50 in your first two weeks, you can still sign up for 14 day courtesy access, which gives you enough time to get through your first two weeks of assignments. Okay, so you have that option as well. You can also buy access cards directly from the bookstore, but I can tell you it's not gonna be $50 plus tax. Okay. Regardless of what you do, you are still responsible for getting your assignments turned in on time. If we scroll down, you'll see I've put together some videos on how to complete the various activities, including your training sims, otherwise called sim books, and your quizzes, and then projects. And as a matter of fact, I've recorded project walkthroughs for all the skill review projects in COSA 1. Now, face-to-face, -face, folks, we're going to be going through these projects together in class and you want to make sure you follow along so that I know and you know that you're turning those projects in and you're getting your points up on the scoreboard. I've also included some information on getting help with SimNet. And then finally, if you're working on your projects from home, you want to make sure that you install Microsoft 365. You can get a free subscription as a registered student. As a matter of fact, I have Windows 11 pulled up here and you can see I have Microsoft 365 installed, which includes Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Now, if you're taking other COS courses, you want to make sure that you have Access installed as well. Okay, we're not going to cover Access in COSA 1, but if you are taking other COS courses, you want to make sure that you download your free subscription. Now, you can see that I have visited Office.com. I logged in with my LBCC Microsoft account. That information is in that video I showed you just a moment ago and also in the syllabus. Now, some things have changed since recording the video and publishing the instructions. You'll see to the right here, we have this install and more button, and then you're gonna choose install Microsoft 365 apps. Again, this is if you're working from home, and then from there, install Office, and then just follow the prompts. Okay, so that is it. If you're working from home, again, watch this video and then look at what I just did on how to install Microsoft 365. So that is it for SimNet information. And then the last thing you want to do is to check in to the discussion forum and introduce yourself. And this is what it looks like. It's a little icebreaker here. I do read the posts in the discussion forums. Now for introduce yourself, I will be replying to all the posts. And then throughout the course, we have other discussion threads. And again, I do read those threads. I might not reply to every post, but I do read them. 
Okay, so you'll see some discussion threads sprinkled throughout the class. They are entirely optional, but this is a great way to build community both face-to-face -face and online. All right, so now that we've gone through our list of things to do, you want to go ahead and click on modules. And then we'll come back to this a little bit later on how to get support in the class. But for now, let's go over to modules. And here we go, week one. So you can see that there are three assignments here. They are due Friday, April 12th. And we have this Windows and Office overview page. So you want to take a moment, read through the information here. And as a matter of fact, if we scroll on down to action items, you'll see that you have two training sims and a quiz. Okay, we're going to be covering Microsoft Windows and Office Essential Skills. The two training sims are a participation requirement in the class. Whether you're face-to-face -face or online, even if you show up uh, in person to my face-to-face -face Coastal One 601 class, you still need to complete these two training sims. They are a participation requirement. That way, I know that you still want to be in the class and that you've taken the time to settle in and register with SimNet. If you don't complete the two training sims on time, I'm going to assume that you're no longer interested in the class and unfortunately you will be dropped. And then we have the quiz. Now, COSA 1 folks, you do need to take the quiz. You are taking the class as a graduation requirement and you're also taking it for units. Now, 601, that is the non-credit version. You are not under any obligation to take quizzes or exams okay I cannot force you to take quizzes or exams they are there for you to practice but again coastal one folks you do need to take the quiz all three assignments due on Friday April 12th be sure to go through the syllabus again concerning late and missed work okay as a matter of fact let me show you what the training sim looks like here Okay, so this is from one of my ongoing COSA 1 classes. The idea here is to fill this progress meter all the way to 100%. Okay, these training sims should not take a whole lot of your time. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and start on this task. This is essentially your textbook in the course. Okay, so this is what your sim book looks like, your training sim. You'll see that there are three options here. Show me, guide me, and let me try. Now, if you know what you're doing, you can just go straight to let me try. If you're not sure on what you're supposed to do, you do have the show me and guide me options. But let's go ahead and go to let me try. This is how you get points in the class. If you're still not sure on what to do, you can always show the hint. And uh, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get properties here. All right, so we'll go through and we need to change this to read only. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll click OK. And then you'll see that I've successfully completed the let me try. You'll see that check mark. And if I exit the training sim, you'll see that I am 4% complete. Now, you don't want to check your grade book as you're doing this because you're going to see in your grade book that you're only 4% on this assignment and you're going to think you're failing it. So complete the training sim before you check before you check your grade book. All right, so that is it. And again, these training sims shouldn't take very long. Okay, we have Microsoft Windows. We have Office Essential Skills. Face-to-face, -face, folks, on Monday, we'll go through all of this and then you'll get started on your Windows 11 training and then on that Wednesday we have the office essential skills training and then you'll take your quiz one last thing on getting support you'll see that there are a number of different support options these are essentially your lifelines in the class now you've already seen the the live chat that's real time we also have an open collaboration forum where it's a discussion thread you can you can uh, talk amongst yourselves in there as well. It's not going to be in real time, which is great for my asynchronous COSA 1 since there are no class meetings. Uh, we also have the COS Computer Labs. As a matter of fact, I've provided a link directly to the COS Tech Support. You can click or tap on it here. And this also gives you the hours to the COS Computer Labs. So if I scroll down a little bit here, you'll see here are the office hours, both at LAC and PCC. We have a link to the Student Technology Help Desk, 
And I've also included some things for online learning along with tutoring for COSA 1. And then lastly, if you want to watch my YouTube playlist for COSA 1, you have that link there as well. So that is it. Welcome aboard to the class. I hope that you found this information useful. And again, I've tried to keep this video short. So, you know, 15 minutes of your time is not a whole lot. So again, welcome aboard to COSA 1 and 601. Glad to have you here. Let's have a good eight weeks together. Thank you for watching, and I will see you starting on Monday, April 8th. Take care.